If people love a good mystery, then they surely enjoy it when a mystery gets solved. Ahead, you'll find some of the biggest mysteries that have perplexed humans for dozens or even hundreds of years. From people disappearing, to ghost ships, to ancient civilizations, over the past several years, all of these mysteries have been given enough evidence and answers that experts feel they are now solved. Let's see if you agree. Unsolved mysteries finally solved. What happened to the Mayan civilization? Hundreds of years ago, the Mayan civilization was one of the most advanced on Earth. They developed dozens of cities and technology that suggested that they would be around for a long time. Then, around 700 to 800 CE, they vanished. With their cities turned into ruins, people speculated that the Mayans had been defeated in battle, while others hypothesized that aliens had taken them. In 2012, researchers came across evidence which suggested neither were the causes for the demise of this once great civilization. Instead, it was found that deforestation had so altered the land that drought and erosion led to agricultural failure. With no food, the people dispersed and the cities crumbled. A Russian royal family survivor? In July 1918, Tsar Nicholas II and his family were lined up in the basement of a house and executed on the orders of Vladimir Lenin. The family's bodies were burned and buried in a grave. However, two of the children's bodies went missing, starting a long-running rumor that not all of the Romanovs were dead. For decades, rumors and searches went on for Anastasia, the Tsar's youngest daughter, who many believed was alive and in hiding. In 2007, two bodies were discovered near the original location of the saw. DNA research proved the bodies were daughter and son of the saw, definitely laying to rest the unsolved mystery surrounding the fate of the Romanov children. Death Valley's Sailing Stones On a dry lake bed in Death Valley, California, people have spent the last several decades wondering how some rocks have been seemingly moving by themselves across the ground. Stones as big as 700 pounds seemingly move around the ground, leaving a trail behind them. Researchers decided to get down to the bottom of this mystery in 2011. Not allowed to put GPS devices on the rocks, the team brought in their own rocks and waited. After two years, they figured out that the rocks are not possessed. Instead, they found that a small amount of water freezes underneath and then melts in the sun. Add in a little wind and the rocks move a few inches at a time. The Mary Celeste In December 1872, the merchant ship Mary Celeste was found floating off the Azores Islands with no crew. Boarding crews found no signs of foul play or damage, and personal belongings and the ship's cargo were still on board. The ship's lifeboat was missing, and the last log entry had been made ten days before. What happened? For decades, no one knew, until experts looked at the cargo. The ship was carrying barrels of alcohol, and several of these had leaked. If the vapor had ignited, it would have created a dramatic yet largely harmless explosion, making the crew think that their ship was on fire and bound to sink. This explains the missing alcohol, the lack of burn marks, and the missing lifeboat. Maria Ridolf's Murder In December 1957, seven-year-old Maria Ridolf just vanished into thin air while she was walking to her Sycamore, Illinois home. The following spring, Ridolf's body was found and police searched for the killer. They came across Johnny McCullough, who seemed suspicious and fit initial descriptions of the suspected murderer. However, McCullough's parents provided an alibi for their son by saying he had been 40 miles away and a lie detector test was inconclusive. The case went cold until 1994 when Johnny's mother made a deathbed confession that she had lied about her son's whereabouts when asked by police. The case reopened in 2008, and in 2012, Johnny McCullough stood trial and was convicted of the murder that had happened 55 years before. The building of the Egyptian pyramids. Was it aliens, or some sort of advanced yet long-lost ancient technology? For the longest time, there were only theories and speculations surrounding the question of how the Egyptian pyramids were constructed. In 2014, physicists at the University of Amsterdam used drawings found in ancient tombs to figure out that the stone blocks were moved on sleds by large teams of men. To help lubricate the ground, water was poured over the sand to reduce friction. Other experts have since come forward to say that clay could also have been used to help slide the stone-laden sleds over the desert. The Location of the Santa Maria on Christmas Eve 1492, the Santa Maria, flagship of Christopher Columbus's voyage to the Americas, struck a coral reef and sank. 
Columbus and his crew sailed back to Spain on the Niña, leaving the resting place of the Santa Maria an unsolved mystery for hundreds of years. In 2014, archaeologist Barry Clifford reported that he had found the wreck. In fact, he had discovered it nearly a decade earlier, only he just didn't know it at the time. Further supporting the case that this is the Santa Maria is the fact that Clifford was able to pinpoint the location of a fort built by Columbus, and cross-reference this with the reported location of the wreck from the explorer's own diary, King Richard's Demise. Historians have always known that British monarch King Richard III died on the battlefield in 1485, but no one ever knew how he died. In 2012, Richard's remains were found buried under a parking lot in the British city of Leicester. Experts set to work examining the remains and found a number of wounds on the king's body, suggesting that he had been attacked by multiple people. The death blow? Close examination of his skull shows that Richard was likely killed by a sword, or halberd, which struck the base of his skull before penetrating up into his head. The Franklin Expedition. This mystery is technically half solved, but we thought we'd include it anyways. In 1845, Sir John Franklin took the HMS Erebus and the HMS Terra on a journey to find the Northwest Passage. They were never heard from again. Over the years, various stories from Inuit witnesses and theories have concluded that the ships became stuck in the ice and the survivors, weakened by cold and potential lead poisoning, succumbed to disease and starvation. But what happened to the ships? In September 2014, searchers discovered the wreck of the Erebus laying on the floor of the Canadian Arctic. There has been no sign of the terror, but it is hoped further exploration of the Erebus will reveal more clues into this ill-fated journey. Amelia Earhart This unsolved mystery has captured the imagination of people everywhere as they searched for answers to the famous aviator's 1937 disappearance. Some believe Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan were captured and executed by the Japanese, while others think she was a spy working for the US who was later put into protective custody. The 1940 discovery of bones belonging to a Caucasian female, a woman's shoe, glass bottle, and sextant case with a serial number consistent with the type used by Noonan all suggest Earhart crashed on Nikamuru Island in Kiribati. An aluminium body panel appears to have provided the final say. Experts say the piece is definitive proof of Earhart's plane because of its size and specific rivet patterns, all of which match a custom alteration Earhart made to her plane before heading off on her journey in 1937. We hope you found this video interesting. Here are some other videos that you might enjoy. And don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks.